Okay. Uh, good morning. Good morning, students. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. All right. All right. Um, okay, guys online, can you hear me? Guys, Pong, can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Um, Pong, can you can you say something? Can you hear me? Pong. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. All right. So uh, let's check who's online, who is uh, on site, and who is absent as well. And let's start. Today, our lesson will be about preparation to our midterm exam. So today, we will review what we learned previously. And uh, also, I would like to know like, what topics do you have? Have you chosen any topic or not yet? OK. So um, Ton. Okay, Prao, Tata, Opor, uh, P, Kaimuk, Oto, Wangfu, Kao Klong. Otto, Otto, Hesen. Otto is here, okay. Okay, Otto is here. Uh, Kao Klong, right? Okay, Alex, Alex is absent. Okay, well, I can see Kaimuk is joining us now. Matthew, Bass, yeah. all right. Dean, Lawan, Win. okay, Win is here. Pat, and Pang. Present. Uh -huh. Pang is here, all right. Oh, let me see. Wang Fu. Wang Fu is joining us as well. Okay. All right, guys. Nice to see you, all of you this morning. Let me share my screen and let's um, let's discuss what we'll have uh, on midterm exam. Right. Here we go. All right. Oh, just a moment. Let me let me do the other way. Let me add you. Oh, okay. So now can you see my screen, guys? If I move, Pong. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. That preparation midterm exam. Uh, last week we already discussed right about uh, preparation to exam. So this week I would like to uh, tell you briefly. Okay. So total we will have you will have forty points, ten points for preparation, ten points for fluency and coherence, lexical resource ten points, and pronunciation ten points. So that's forty points. Plus three points you will get uh, if you ask question. Don't hesitate, guys, because this is conversation lesson, right? So we have to speak. We have to show our knowledge. Uh, even you make mistake, okay? That is not an issue. For me, the main idea, the main for me is uh, you able to ask, okay? Practice, practice asking questions, okay? For that, I'm giving additional three points. Okay. Uh, so let me let me maybe skip this part. Okay, so preparation to exam. Oh, by the way, regarding preparation, uh, students prepare materials such as PowerPoint, picture, photo, etc. Guys, could I request you to prepare your presentation in PowerPoint? Because PowerPoint, I will be um, able to open on my system. Uh, if, for example, someone will prepare in some maybe Mac notes or some kind of notes, right? Uh, 
most probably I don't have that program. That's why I will not be able to open it. Uh, please, in this case, could you please all prepare your uh, presentation in PowerPoint? It, it's quite easy and it has all uh, needful uh, settings, right? To, to do it. Okay, guys? Guys? Can you prepare in PowerPoint? This program, PowerPoint program. The same what I'm showing you now, that is a PowerPoint pr program. Okay, um, next one. All fluency and coherence, how clear and structured is your speech? A lexical resource, how good is your vocabulary? And the last point is pronunciation, how naturally you sound. Now we came to the page where there are like four, four topics, right? You can choose one of them. The first topic is our blue planet, environmental problems. You choose problems or you can make a group of, pro uh, get a group of problems and say like, how are you going? What, what is it and how can we solve it? Just a moment, please. We have some students here. Uh huh. Okay. P. P is here. Uh, number two, monuments in danger. Three, endangered species around the world. And number four, body language. What are the cultural differences? I think all these topics they are quite interesting. No, so let's uh, let's look at the first one. Our blue planet, environmental problems. Uh, could you tell me what is this environmental problem? Huh? What is this environmental problem? Look at the picture. Trash or rubbish, right? Rubbish, okay. What about this one? Energy waste, okay, good. Uh, this one? Water pollution, okay, that is the water pollution. Okay, P, P, what is this environmental problem? P. Uh, air pollution. Air pollution. Okay, um, Punk, what about this one? Uh -huh. Punk, what is, saying? what is this environmental problem? Uh, Punk. Uh, okay, Punk maybe is not responding. Quang Fu, Quang Fu. What is this environmental problem? Uh, flying food? Guys, are you here? Can you hear me? Kamu? Kamu, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Kamu, what is this environmental problem? Deforestation. Deforestation, correct. And what about this one? Endangered species. Endangered species. Okay, okay, perfect. Perfect. So, um, last time we already did these two exercises, but let's, let's go fast, okay? Let's go fast. Uh, can move. Let's read number one. We should use a whole things we don't need. Uh -huh. Picture. A. Picture A. Good. Win. Number two. Let's read. Let's read first. Factory waste. Uh-huh, 
factory waste, poisons, lakes, and rivers. Picture? No? Picture F, water. Water pollution, right? Water pollution, okay. Now clone, number three. Huh? Uh, let, let's read it. Yeah, fumes. Let's say car exhaust fumes. Uh huh. Picture. Picture. B. Correct. Picture B. Tone. Uh huh. Energy based. It's picture. D. Correct. Okay. Bass. Many? Many animals are disappearing. Disappearing. Losing. Losing. Natural. Habitats. Okay. Many animals are disappearing because they are losing their natural habitats. Uh huh. Which picture is that? C. C correct. Endangered species. Okay. And the last one is um, Pong. Pong number six. Pan. Uh, auto. Auto number six. Auto. Auto pan. What about P? Uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Auto number six. Com Compan companies. Companies cut down trees to make roads. Okay. Companies cut down trees to make roads. So which picture is that? Huh? What what is the picture? Uh E. E. Deforestation. Okay. That is deforestation. So uh okay good job good job guys so now uh match the problems to the solutions and make sentences okay let's match let's match number one wasting energy what is the solution of wasting energy uh-huh could it could you say what is turn off all right, two and a half power when not in use. Number two, animals facing extinction. Uh -huh. Very good, protect endangered species. Deforestation. B, deforestation, you mean clean up uh, right? A, A, that is correct. Deforestation, deforestation. The first time is people cut, people are cutting trees, right? Uh, deforestation, plant trees. Okay, and what about uh, number four? Can I move? E. E. Huh? E. Uh, clean up Polluted beaches. Yes, that is B, clean up beaches. And number five, e. air pollution in cities. Use public transport. Okay, use public transport. Okay, yeah, guys, who is good in reading? Who is good in reading? Huh? Uh, Ton, good in reading? Okay, because I have one text that is called environmental problems. And this text is quite big, okay? Don't worry, you start and I will ask someone to continue. Let's go. 
denying there is no denying Underlying causes. This problem. Uh -huh. The foremost reason. The foremost reason that possesses a serious threat to our environment is the harmful gases present in the air. In the past decade, the uncontrolled use of automobiles has increased multifold, which is uh, which in turn emits harmful gases like carbon monoxide. The electronic appliances of our daily use, like air conditioners and refrigerators, also examine air by the discharge of, of harmful substances. The diverse effect of these gases leads to air pollution and global warming. Kamuk, could you continue, please? Huh? Kamuk. Yes. Huh? Therefore, this land is another major cause. The human population is incre increasing at fast rate and to meet their daily consumption forests and trees. Are being cut down. Be it for whom or who demand is caused great loss to the environment. Other known causes are depletions of natural resources like water, fuel, and food. The other consumption of resources by humans and improper waste disposal have resulted in increasing volumes of food and has a dust that pose major threats to the environment. Uh-huh. Okay. And this one. It's mainly... It's mainly due to human activities that the planet has reached unsustainable levels and now it is our duty and responsibility to lower the laws that have been already done up to nature. Every individual could play a significant. significant role to combat this problem. We use the enormous amount of plastic in our daily life, so let's say no to plastic. Instead of plastic, we can make use of equally substitutes that are basically available everywhere. For example, use paper and old bags for shopping. Okay, the government? The government of every country should implement stick rules for industries that inhibit the release of the toxic waste and proper waste management. The awareness program should be organized to a colleague citizen to make more public transport and plant trees in their neighborhood. The less use of hybrid vehicles will be it will substantially reduce the emission of fossil fuels. So they be playing a little role in addressing this issue. At the end, I can say that it is responsibility of each one of us to do a bit of the environment. Let's work together towards a greener and more sustainable future. Yeah. 
towards a greener and more sustainable future. Okay, so uh, as you can see in this topic, you can find you can find problems, right? The first problem was, what was the first problem, guys? We start talking about that's air, right? Air pollution. We spoke about deforestation, and we also spoke how can we reduce the use of plastic, right? We can reduce because plastic plastic makes uh, it, it's too harmful for our earth because even like if as you can see the water pollution, plastic is everywhere. Even even sometimes we're going to to some piers, right? We can see lots lots of um, plastic bottles on the water, right? And uh, it's really harmful for uh, uh, water environment. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, next topic it's about um, places places in danger. Uh, by the way, I would like to ask: uh, Have you chosen any topic yet? Hmm? Guys, what topic would you like to present? How long? What about you? There are total, like uh, we have total four topics, right? So, but which topic would you like to present? Like environmental problems, monuments in danger, endangered species around the world, or uh, body language? What are the cultural differences? Environmental problems, right? Okay. Uh, what, you, what about you, Tony? Hmm? What topic would you like to, to present next time? Bass, win. What about you guys? Win. What's your topic? Huh? Win, what about you? What topic would you like to present? Okay, uh, no problem. You still, you, uh, as I can see, you are still thinking only how long he knows what, what he's going to do. Okay, guys, uh, let's move to another part, which is called uh, Monuments in Danger. Okay, so now um, I would like to show you some monuments. Okay. Uh, do you know this monument? Uh, I, I will. I will tell you that is in France, in Paris. It's one of the most famous monuments in Europe. Have you seen it before? Huh? No. Okay, that is called Notre Dame de Paris. Notre Dame de Paris. It's a cathedral. Cathedral in France. It's very, very, very old. So uh, you know what's happened. Uh, let's let's read. Let's read about this monument, okay? Uh, Notre Dame de Paris, Cathedral, France. Uh, Tom, let's read. Eleven sixty-three. Notre Dame Cathedral. Cathedral. Sacred. As a fire ripped. Monument. While while firefighters were able to save the building, collapse. Cathedral remains unstable. 
Weakened. Wiser. Raise. Encouraging global support. Iconic, iconic building. Okay, what do you understand from this? What happened to that? Uh, to to this monument? Uh huh. Guys, guys online, what can you say about this building? Look, look at the picture. That was before. That was before. And now it's, it's like this. Huh? What happened, guys? What happened to the building? It's got fire, right? It was burned. Actually, there was a restoration work inside going on. And suddenly there was an electrical shock. This shock cut not uh, electrical shock, and some the roof, the roof got on fire. And this building was almost burned, but thanks uh, to um, firefighters, they managed to put out the fire and now it will take another five years more even more sometimes some people say like some people say it's like it's it will take more than 10 years or even 20 years to restore this building all right so <clears throat> you can talk about about also like uh monuments in danger right uh what about this what about this building uh let me ask uh, Pang, Pang, could you read? Pang. Pang. Pang is not here. Uh, Kamuk, Kamuk, could you assist, please? Have we had the Costco region which includes the sky cam early of the sacred sacred wallet wallet of the incas sees a word of four million visitors who mostly come to see a tango from rooms from Inca Empire. So why the government has long been committed to boosting the region's tourism industry. The incontention of, uh, of a new airport in the world, while it is threatening to disturb the areas in this canals, people, its landscape, and its historical monuments. The, the world, uh, that is World Monuments Fund. The, the world, world Monuments Fund intends to help readers stand sustainable growth of the area without having a dismantle effect on the world of beauty or communities of communities okay okay so this also uh, as an example right so how you can talk about monuments in danger uh also there is another monument at chivas and chiatias Kathmandu, nepal um uh, another monument is also uh to national park in georgia so you can guys you can present like two two three monuments okay and you can describe them so what is the history of that monument and why this monument is in danger? What can we do? How can we protect this monument, right? All right? So, uh, because uh, there, is one, there is one organization that is called uh, World Monuments Fund, okay? They are 
trying to save, they're trying to take care of uh, all the monuments. All right. Uh, another topic, another topic is uh, endangered, just a moment. Another topic was uh, endangered species around the world. Kaimo, by the way, what, what is your topic? What would you like to talk about? Body language. You want to talk about body language? Oh, that's a very interesting topic. Yes, you're right. Okay, let's talk about uh, endangered species around the world. As you can know, uh, our planet has many, many, many uh, different kinds of animals, right? But some of them, they are in danger because of sometimes is deforestation and most, and in most cases, that is because of human's activity, right? Human's activity. Uh, people cut trees, people build new building, uh, new cities, uh, build roads and expand the land. That's why, and also, because of environmental uh, problems, because of humans gain, right? Uh, many animals, they get extinct. So, and I would like you to, to make a topic about some of them. Like, as you can see here, uh, we discussed in our previous lesson, like about I, I Lemma from Madagascar, Baju River Dolphin in China, and brittle nail, nail tail wallaby in Australia. And also you can talk about, you can present this way, okay? You can present this way, you write the name, for example, polar bear, right? Where it lives around the Arctic Ocean. What it looks like, large bear, white fur, sharp claws. And why it's endangered? Because of global warming, melting ice, pollution, and hunting. Of, uh, to be it more interesting, you can insert some photos, right? Some photos of um, polar bears, right? Uh, maybe you can find, you can find an internet polar bears with uh, um, well, the kids and so on. Okay. And then please describe. You have all this information, like name, where it lives, what it looks like, and why it's endangered. And make a short description, okay? The polar bear is a large bear with white fur and sharp claws that lives in and around the Arctic Ocean. It's endangered because of global warming, pollution, and hunting. Sea ice is melting and breaking up. And this means the polar bears can't hunt enough and they starve. Many bears also drown because they get too tired from swimming long distances looking for food. So this is like explanation. You, choose, you use all these words and plus you make a description, okay? I'm sure you can do that. If you go through this structure, name, where it lives, what, uh, what it looks like, and why it's endangered, then easily, easily you can build this kind of um, uh, presentation, okay? What about other animals, right? So you can talk about other animals like uh, Bengal tiger, Royal Bengal tiger, India. Panda, China, right? Do you remember what is this animal? Snow leopard, right? Snow leopard. Um, you can also add description. Koala bear. That is koala Australia, but it's not a bear, right? It looks like, but it's not a bear at all. Okay. All right, so 
you can choose. You can choose any of these topics. And the last one, it's a body language. Body language topic. I move. I think you are more interested in this. Uh, let's read. We have we still have around five minutes. Let's finish it. Okay. Come on. Uh, doing all life, we all use body language all the time without knowing or realizing it. Example: When a child have, has had enough to eat, he turns his head from side to side to stop his parents from feeding him. Example: Shoulder stunk. It's something we do when we don't know or understand what a person is talking about. Okay. And here is, there are some examples, right? So how can we show how our body shows, express, express our feelings, right? How we don't need to tell, we don't need to uh, pronounce any words, but our body shows, our body shows like our feelings. Okay, and uh, here are some uh, examples how to read body language, right? So for example, cross arms and legs, it, it shows a closed, uh, a closed attitude. Uh, for example, massaging forehead, it shows uneasiness. Oh, just a moment. Uh, gesturing while speaking, shows honesty and allegiance, allegiance. Uh, touching nose, uh, it, indica it indicates lying, yeah. When someone is always like doing this, most probably is lying. Uh, torso turned away shows disinterest. And uh, our topic is not just about body language, you know, guys. So our topic is a bit, um, just a moment, let me, let me tell you exactly. Our topic is called, what are the cultural differences? What are the cultural differences? As we discussed earlier, body language is different in different countries, right? So what we can do uh, in one country, the same meaning, uh, we will not get the same meaning in other countries. So that's why I would like you to compare, to compare these two uh, differences. What, uh, let, me, let me show an example. Let me show an example. For example, head. Usually, how, how do we shake our head? We do like this, yes? When we are agree, when we are agree on something, we just, uh, nodding our head this way. If he doesn't agree, so we say no this way. But some some um, countries they have the opposite, right? They have uh, uh, the opposite meaning. Like for example, the uh, Bulgarians and Greeks are known for their unusual manner of saying yes and no. Nodding up and down signifies, signifies a negative. Or like in India, in India, they, they do this way when they say yes, right? They say yes, they nodding their head from left to right. Okay, and And also, same with the arms, right? So it shows like uh, many, many cultures use their arms freely, as in Italy, when they of often wave their arms around when talking, or the US. But Northern European find it's hard to tolerate just drink with the arms, associating it with insincerity and over dramatization. In Japan, gesturing with a broad, uh, broad arms movement, it's considered impolite. So guys, please, uh, prepare. You have four topics, prepare in PowerPoint, please. So I can share, I can show to all your class.